Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. This one is an eclectic style journal and I've used various different papers. There is no real theme to it because it's eclectic. <laughs> uh, I'll give you the measurements. So it's eight and a quarter by four and a half and it has a spine because it's got two signatures and that's something that I didn't write down. So let's see what the spine is. It's about a one inch spine, but it's kind of curved. Um, like I said, two signatures, 64 pages front and back. Um, it will be listed with the free shipping in my shop. Um, and I've got another journal in there at the moment. I'll link the pair of them below. Um, so let's go inside. So we've got a sample piece of fabric, which I've used this fabric um, to make ruffles with as well. And the paper that I've used on the front here is from Ruby and Pearl. And do you know, I've never ever used this page of that kit, I don't think. And if I did, I think I just cut little bits out of it. <laughs> I didn't use it. And it's a beautiful collaged page. I don't know what the name of the kit is. Um, I think it's like a French florals or something. It's a good few years old, this kit. So I use that as the cover. And you can see there, there's a lot going on. So these little taggy things are a freebie from Tracy Fox. So I just backed them and stuck some of the little bits on. So uh, would that be on Tracy's coffee shop, I believe? And just used some twine. The twine that I had was quite thick. So what I did was when I cut it, I just separated it all so that I got like three pieces out of like one piece. If you know what I mean, we've got digital washi tape there from chapter one. This paper here is from the old design shop. We've got this, we've got washi here as well. We have this from Nick the Booksmith that is on her, um, what's that one? Uh, Flickr account. Excuse my squeaky chair. Anyway, done some stitching. This is from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, <coughs> Can't remember where that's from but it's from somebody's kit and that's on there this is from i kept the bit of paper or did i yes it's from the innkeeper um on etsy and we've got some digital washi here this paper is the old design shop well we have got these now i collected these online from the old design shop and um i've used a few of them and that is from, <clears throat> excuse my voice is really low because it's hurting from allergies. Um, just coughing and sneezing all the time. Um, so yeah, I got that from Nick the Booksmith. Um, Tailor made journals. Here we've got a double pocket and it's got a little bit of um, embossed paper there. This is from, I think this is, I don't know if this is Artie Mays or Tailor made journals. I can't remember. I can't remember. This is a freebie from my Butch Prince. You will find a list in the description box to lots of different Etsy sellers. Um, this is from one of Artie Maisie's kits and I can't remember what kit it was. I think it's one of the wallpaper kits, I think. And that's the ruffle that I made. Here we've got a top tuck. I've got a little calling card there that's a printable and that, that was um like i said that was one of the ones that i found on the old design shop on her blog on julie's blog so that goes in there that is from um i think that was from tsunami rose i think uh whoops Artie maze um, I don't know who that's from, but I thought I'd put that in there. Another calling card, again a printable from the, um, who did I say that was? The old design shop. Right, this is a flip out page, got bits in there as well, but it flips out that way and it's got a postcard in there, that's one of Tracy's. And you could do, add things to that, I don't know, however you journal. Um, another calling card here. These are again from Tracy's um, coffee shop, a little freebie. And we've got some embossed vellum. That's Artie Mays from one of our kits. Can't remember what kit now. Again, uh, not Tracy Fox, uh, Tsunami Rose. Right, that opens out and I've put this. This is from the old design shop and that's a freebie as well. That is on there with another calling card. I'd love to get my hands on some real ones. 
because they are pretty. So yeah, that that's like so, and like that. Center of the signature, and we've got some hearts on a string. I was meant to video that. It is a simple thing, um, but someone had asked me, and I said I would do it. And then the time when I'd put it on, I thought I should have done a video on that. <laughs> so I'll do it again at some point. Um, this is some real music paper and some digital washi from chapter one. Here we've just got again some embossed paper, a double pocket there that's been punched with my binder. Oh, Artie Mae's tag there. I think that's um, Nick the Booksmith, and that's a freebie from my porch prints. Then here, that was a little scrappy piece that I had. So that's just, you could glue that to make a permanent pocket, or you could actually add some more onto that to make another like flip out. Um, that again is from the innkeeper, and that's a digital check, a French check from, who's that from? That is from the old design shop. And then we have a little postcard. This is from Nectar's Creations. And I left the envelope opened and you got a little journal card there. So that's the envelope. What way does that go? Was it that way? Yeah. Obviously, because the butterfly's there. And that just pops in there like so. And in the pocket. Little tag here from uh, the old design shop. We've got some postcards here, and that's one of these from Artie Mays. And as you can see, I've just every other page, I've just put some digital washi on just to just to give it a little something. Here we've got some more trim to have to. Where's my scissors? I mean, this will obviously still fray all the time. A little bit. <laughs> I'm going to show you that. Yeah, postcard, Artie Mays. Another one of these little thingies from Tracy Fox. Like, I think they were supposed to be for dangles. That's what they were called. That is a freebie. Digital washi. Another one of these. Just paper clipped on. Um, digital washi again. And we've got some... A little tag, little piece there, I don't know who that's from. And that is from the innkeeper. This is from the old design shop, I think. And again, I think that is my porch prints. Got a little double um, it's not a double pocket, but it's double layered, and then I stitched it. So the music paper, oh, I don't know what I've done, what I've done with it now. Obviously, it's um, it's pretty old. It's probably about 60 years old, I think, 60, 70. Um, so I just wanted to back it to make sure that it wasn't going to all break away. A bit of digital washi there. And then we've got a bingo card, another one of these from Artie Mays. So you could glue that along or stitch down there, around there, and you could have you know stick things in there Tracy Fox postcard and then this this is from Tsunami Rose and it's just like that part of the envelope obviously and I just stitched in some paper so you can do some journaling on that and I've just paper clipped that on there some I was going to say paper ruffle some fabric ruffle We've got a little pocket here. This is Artie Mays as well. And this is Artie Mays. And this, I don't know if that's Artie Mays or um, Taylor May Journals. I can't remember. Some real vintage music paper. And that's coming out of there. Um, I just put that on. I used these decorative scissors to make a fancy line there another calling card I took ages a couple of them you had to I had to cut them all out I was like oh all that in and out in and out but it was worth it <coughs> excuse me French ephemera I'm gonna have to take some water oh there we go <clears throat> sorry about that some more French ephemera from Artie Mays that one I do remember that one 
some journal space, hearts on a string. Little dangle there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> These allergies. I've had a headache for about three days as well. Then we had a downpour yesterday and a downpour today. There's lots of floods in my area. Um, really bad. That just goes in there. Yeah, and I think, I don't know if all the rain affects the pollen. It... <coughs> I didn't know whether I was going to sneeze or cough then. Um, yeah, everybody's talking about how bad their allergies are this year. And it's only May. We've still got June, July, August, September to go through. Um, that postcard, don't know who that's from. French check in there, that's just like a double tag to journal on. You could glue it and make it like a top pocket somewhere. But I've just popped that in there. And the postcard there. Bit of digital washi here. Some more. Um, that's from the innkeeper. Little tag. Little library card there. It's like a double pocket. These were actually like Valentine themed ones. A little bit of the embossed paper. Oops, a little ruffle there. Postcard from Artemis. These are from Tracy Fox. Got a postcard that I folded here. And then one of these from Artemis. And that goes in. Actually, that would be nice like that, wouldn't it? And then we have a little bit of digital washi there as well. So that is the journal. I like doing journals that have nothing. <laughs> you can just kind of pretty much. That's a stitch there because obviously it wasn't long enough. Which way? Probably won't matter the time I've tied a bow in it. Right. Is it like that? Yes, it is. Because <laughs> the bow is going to cover it there. But I've done like three uh, zigzag stitches back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it's, it's not going to come away. Well, I hope not anyway. And there we go. Free shipping. Link will be below. There will also be a link to my other journal that's still available with free shipping. I was just so, I was so busy the last couple of days that I didn't get to share it everywhere. Normally I try and do everything at the same time, but I failed to do that because I had a lot going on. So I've just extended the free shipping on that as well because I normally only do it for like 24 hours but anyway there we go if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye for now